everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be attempting to crochet again for the first time in months. If you are new here, I had a really bad hand injury um, exactly eight weeks ago now. I am a lot better progress wise. I had like two surgeries and everything, but I don't know if you guys can tell. My middle finger and my ring finger are bent from the trauma. You can kind of see the scar there. So I have tried to attempt to crochet just with like these two fingers in the past month and it has been pretty much impossible. I'm also left-handed, so it's been difficult. I am slowly able to start like picking things up with my middle finger again. My ring finger is still like, I don't have any feeling in that finger at all. So before we get started with today's video, I would like to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Most of you that watch my crochet videos are people who also love to crochet or would love to get into crocheting. And the best way to do that, honestly, is with Skillshare. There are so many classes on Skillshare to teach you if you're a beginner or if you're an intermediate crocheter, Skillshare is for you. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with a wide depth of topics ranging from illustration, graphic design, photography, to music, marketing, productivity, and more. There are thousands of creative classes in countless categories, ranging from beginner to advanced. They're designed by creatives for creatives. It's an on-demand platform with stackable lessons so you can learn at your own pace no matter what your skill level is. Since we're still in the summertime, it is the best time to learn new hobbies and try new things because you have so much more free time than you would have during the school year. My favorite crochet class to recommend is the Modern Crochet Essential Skills to Getting Started by Tony Lipsy. I feel like that is a really good class for beginners. And a learning path that I have been trying is the Next Level Watercolors, which is painting beyond the basics. I really love painting. I actually teach painting classes myself at my library, which is where I work. And watercolor is one of my favorite mediums to paint with. So I've been trying to learn new techniques with watercolor, which has been really awesome. So if you guys are interested in checking out Skillshare for yourself, I'm gonna have a link in the description box down below. And the first 500 people to click the link down below will get one free month of Skillshare Premium. That is an absolute steal. One whole free month, you could learn so much in that month. I really recommend it. I truly love Skillshare. Thank you once again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get right into it. I'm going to attempt <laughs> to make the six day star blanket. Apparently it is so easy that you can make it within six days, but it is the size of like a toddler blanket. And obviously I wanna make it big enough where I can use it and lay with it. I've been crocheting, I don't know, 15 years now, and I have never ever in my life once made myself a blanket. I have attempted to make blankets. I learned how to crochet with making blankets, but I never finished them. They were always just practice for me when I was younger. And I never have finished a full blanket. And that is a goal that I made for myself at the beginning of this year is to make a blanket for myself. And I've been seeing the star blanket everywhere. I found a couple of free patterns online, which I will link down below. And I'm gonna try to make it. I'm just gonna use some yarn that I already have laying around the house. I'm gonna go for a like pastel type rainbow effect because my house is very colorful and I want it to, you know, keep the vibe of the house. So the main like border color is going to be white because I have a lot of white yarn. So it's gonna start with white and then we're going to use pastel. So I've got like light pink, a peach color. I have this light yellow and then I have light green, light blue, light purple. And then if I run out of those yarns, then I'll probably just start using random colors, honestly. And I'm going to start with a 5.5 millimeter hook because that is the yarn size recommended. And then it's said in the pattern, if the blanket starts curling to up your hook size 0.5 millimeters. So I'm going to be using probably a 5.5 and a, up to a 6.5 if needed. And I'm going to attempt to crochet for the first time. So it says to start with chaining four. So the reason I've been having such issues crocheting is because as you guys can see, I use these fingers for a majority of holding my project. So, I mean, this is, okay. Oh, okay, look at me go. This is probably actually good practice for me too because I do go to physical therapy um, about two to three times a week right now. And that has been the life-changing thing for me. Physical therapists deserve the world, honestly. They're all amazing. But I couldn't even do this when I practiced a month ago. So the fact that I could even make a chain is crazy. But the reason I have such an issue 
is because I hold the yarn with these two fingers and then I hold this the thread in the project with my thumb and my ring finger. So I, I'm going to be very slow because I have no feeling in my ring finger, but already my tension's probably gonna be really bad and I'm going to be very slow. So this is definitely gonna take me more than six days. And could I try to switch and crochet left-handed? Yeah, I could, but I've always crocheted like this, so. Ooh, that feels weird, that feels weird. Ooh, I, I don't like that. Okay, one double crochet. It only took me two minutes to do one double crochet. So it's been about a week since I first started the project and then I couldn't really do it So I took another break and then today I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sit down. I'm gonna try really really hard I'm gonna wrap my fingers up and I'm really gonna try to crochet I'm really gonna focus and I was able to crochet today. I did a live stream as well So if you guys were there, thank you um, For joining I had a lot of fun and I definitely am going to be making more But this is what I did today so I consider this day one, but I only worked on this for about five hours out of the, you know, like 12-ish hours that I'm awake in the day. So this is about five hours worth of work. And I have to say I was going at a pretty normal pace of when I had a healed hand. I don't know like how I was going so fast. I was wearing my compression gloves. So if you guys have a hand injury or a bad hand, definitely buy compression gloves. They're gonna be linked on my Amazon storefront. This was an absolute game changer for me because they compressed my fingers where they're not swollen. So you could see that they're not swollen and I was able to hold everything. And then also the tension rings were also a lifesaver. So the tension ring and the compression gloves made it where I'm able to crochet almost like normal again. My hand does hurt a little, but not as bad as I was expecting. So I'm gonna take some ibuprofen and go to sleep for the night. So I am very happy with this. I increased my hook to a six millimeter, so that's what I'm working on right now. So I'm on row like 12 or 13, and tomorrow I'm going to start with the next color, which is the pastel yellow. And I'm just gonna keep going from there. I was going to do white in between each color, and then I forgot. So I'm just going to do the rainbow and then white, and then continue the rainbow again and hope to have enough yarn. This is supposed to be, you know, the size of a baby blanket for the six day goal. I'm gonna make it bigger than a baby blanket. And I'm honestly just like in a really good mood because I wasn't expecting to be able to do that and I'm very proud of myself. And it's also just giving me more motivation to start crocheting and making more crochet videos again. I wanna make a whole pattern tutorial on how I make my crochet hook holder because I've been asked by so many people how I made this. So I'm going to try to um, this month make a video and a written pattern and sell this on Etsy. But anyways, I'm gonna go to bed for the night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, it's the end of day two and I am about to go to bed. I started crocheting at around 2 p.m. today and it is currently almost midnight. So I've been crocheting on and off for the past like seven to eight hours. And this is the progress that I have made. 
We are um, just kind of repeating the same like five rounds over and over and over again until the blanket is done basically. And then there'll be like a an edging row at the end. But as you can see, I started the green not too long ago. I've done two rows of the green. So I'm just gonna keep going with that. I'm loving it so far. There's definitely some things that I have messed up on. You know, there's some extra stitches in there that I accidentally put in, but it hasn't really affected the pattern for me. Like it doesn't look perfect, but I'm loving it. And I really like the color choices so far as well. Next I'm gonna be doing blue and purple. So I'm really happy with it. And um, my hand hurts a little, but not too bad. Honestly, I've just been wearing this all day and it's been helping a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed and I will continue the blanket tomorrow. end of day four I think we're at the end of day four I don't even remember anymore um, I was only able to work on two rows today I went live on YouTube for a couple hours and I worked on it so I did two of the blue rows and I have a couple of rows left of blue I'm about to do the single crochet row I'm exhausted I've been working all day. I just finished watching tonight's episode of Love Island, part one of movie night. If you know, you know, it was crazy, crazy. Let me know what y'all think of Love Island down below because I'm eating it up this season. It's so good. I could have crocheted while I was watching, but I just didn't really feel like it. So here's the progress at the end of day four. But you know, like I've said, take the days that I'm saying very loosely because I only worked on it for two hours out of the entire day because that's all I had time for. But, Hopefully tomorrow I have time to work on it. All right, it's the next day. I just got home from physical therapy. I now have to keep these two fingers taped together because my pinky is just being led astray and will not bend. Can't wear the gloves too much right now. My Obviously my finger is swollen because I had physical therapy today, but yeah, my fingers are getting low. He made them pop a lot. We're looking good. So I don't work today. So I'm just going to spend most of my day today crocheting with the blanket, of course. So I'm gonna be doing my next row of blue. And I'm just going to, after I finish editing my reading vlog, I'm just gonna literally spend all day crocheting. And we're gonna see how far we can get because today is technically, I believe, day five. It's the end of day six. If you hear a bunch of fans blowing, it's because I haven't had air conditioning in two days. They're supposed to be fixing it in the morning, um, but I installed a window unit in my living room just so I had one room of cool air. Luckily, it's been pretty cool at night. So like right now it feels okay. And while I'm sleeping, it feels pretty good in my house. But during the day when it gets like up in the 90s, the house gets to like 80 degrees and it was pretty miserable today. So I really hope they come and fix it tomorrow because if not, I'm gonna go crazy. But that's all the noises that you hear. I have three fans going and a window unit in here just to keep cool. And I also have fans in the pet rooms as well. It's been crazy. But um, this is what I finished at the end of day six. So technically the six day star blanket, this is what I got done. Keep in mind days like four, five, and six, I pretty much only crocheted for about two hours each day. So was it a full six days? No. If I would have crocheted a majority of a full six days straight, I would probably have this whole entire blanket done because that's how easy this pattern is. It is really easy to work up and it gets big very quickly. So I'm going to just continue like doing the colors until I want to finish this video. Tomorrow I'm going to add the purple 
but I'm gonna stand up and show you guys like how big it is right now because I feel like you can't really tell on camera but it's pretty big um, it takes up like my entire top half of my body I think I just need to add like all of the colors one more time for it to be a really good throw size blanket probably gonna run out of these yarn colors so I might have to go to you know Michaels or Hobby Lobby or something and get more colors because I've had these colors just sitting around for so long that I don't even know what brand they are. I know they're acrylic and it's probably Red Heart, but I have no idea what colors they actually were. So I am going to stop for the night because I unfortunately work nine to five tomorrow. But when I get home from work tomorrow, I'm going to work on the blanket and I'm gonna start purple. And then I'm gonna restart all of the colors after purple with white, pink, and then I'm just going to keep going. Will I finish this blanket in this video? No, probably not because, you know, it's going to take me a while and I want to get this video out soon. I will update you guys tomorrow once I add the purple and that will be day seven. <laughs> Live, say hi. Say hi, everybody. Working on the blankets. Going live. Got a lot of people saying hi for the vlog. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. A little behind the scenes moment here. Got my water, my coffee, the pattern. The live's doing pretty good. We've got about 48 viewers. Everybody's chatting. It's a nice time. Woo! <laughs> I like doing a little like behind the scenes moment. Sabrina, hello. Thank you guys for coming. Yesterday was day seven. I didn't do too much yesterday, but I'm gonna show you guys the progress. This is what I did about eight days. So as you guys saw, I just finished going live on YouTube and this, I did a whole row of purple connected to the purple. So let me bring it a little bit closer to show you guys. So I have about four more rows of purple to do. Not too sure if I have enough purple to do all four, which is unfortunate. Then I'm going to repeat and start with white and then do all of the colors one more time. I will not be doing that in this video. Will I be working on this in future live streams? Most likely. And I will just be continuously working on this in future crochet vlogs and showing you guys the progress of it. But I do have to say I really love the pattern. I will put it in the description box down below. It is completely free. And if you're a beginner and you want to make this, the creator of this pattern has very descriptive, easy, long YouTube tutorials for beginners on how to make this blanket as well. So if you're a beginner and this seems like it would be a little hard for you, it's really, really easy once you get the hang of it. And it's a really nice pattern, especially to get for free, because there's a lot of people on Etsy selling patterns for this exact same thing for money. So to get it for free is always really great. I am going to end this video here. It is good to be back. It is good to be able to crochet again. You guys don't understand how happy it made me being able to crochet again. If you go back and watch my first live stream where I realized that I was able to crochet again, I was actually so freaking happy. And I have not been this happy in a long time to just be able to do a hobby that I love so much. So stay tuned for future crochet videos. I have a lot in the works coming in the future, which I'm super excited about. And I have a Woobles video coming, so stay tuned for the Woobles video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!